all right guys so welcome to my first uh live science experiment demo today we did this same experiment during our live lesson but a lot of you were not able to make it so i am just going to be going over it again um here and it's going to be posted on youtube and it'll be there forever so if you missed it you can watch to see what happened here or if you just wanted to go back and see it again or just know what to do in order if you wanted to try it on your own um here's the video uh so today we were doing the expanding balloon experiment and so yeah so i'm just going to jump into it so these are the things that you need to conduct the experiment so you need a balloon and i have already filled my balloon with baking soda but you need a balloon you need a water bottle and i have already filled my water bottle with vinegar <laughs> so Baking soda, you need one third cup of baking soda and vinegar. And I have one cup of vinegar. All right, so to get your materials prepared, like again, like I said, so I have already filled up my balloon with one third cup worth of baking soda and I just used a paper funnel. Um, there are a lot of videos showing you how to make a paper funnel if you do not have a real one. Um, but yeah, so I filled it up using a funnel. And then I filled my water bottle up with a cup of vinegar. And a funnel would also be useful for that. All right, so then you also need some safety gear. You know, for science experiments, uh, a lot of reactions occur. And so it's really important that you are safe. So I have a chef coat, which is going to be my lab coat for today. I picked all things that I already had at home so that I wouldn't have to risk going outside. Um, so to protect my eyes, I have some swimming goggles. And to protect my hands, I have some kitchen gloves. Now, baking soda and vinegar um, are not like abrasive chemicals. So that if you touch them with your skin, you'll be okay. It won't harm you, but it is nice to just be extra safe. All right. So during our live lesson, we went over some hypotheses or hypotheses that we thought what happened. So an hypothesis is a guess that you take about what will happen during a reaction or an experiment. So I told everyone that when we mix vinegar and baking soda, they produce a gas called carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is a gas that our bodies also make. So whenever we exhale, we are blowing out carbon dioxide. So some students, their hypothesis were that the balloon might explode or that bubbles would be created or that it could change colors. And all of those were amazing and awesome hypotheses. And so let's just jump into the experiment and so that we can see what happens, all right? So before I get started, let me put on my safety gear. I'm gonna put my goggles on first just to protect my eyes. Boop. All right, now let's get to it. So before I put on my gloves, I am going to put the balloon on the rim of the water bottle. And you want to make sure that it is all the way down and secure. All right, so next I am going to put on my glove. All right, so now I am all set. So next, what you are going to do is you are going to dump the baking soda from the balloon into the water bottle. So I'm going to count down and let's get started. So three, two, one. Go. And I'm going to hold the rim of the balloon. and the vinegar are causing lots and lots of bubbles so if that was one of your hypothesis you were correct so when baking soda and vinegar react they cause a lot of bubbles and that's really gas making that's the carbon dioxide forming and as the carbon dioxide formed it went straight into our balloon and here we have a balloon of balloon do you see how big that went <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for joining me for this experiment. We still have a little bit of baking soda left, but that's okay. So thank you for joining me for this experiment. I hope you really enjoyed. And if you decide to do this with your parents and at home, either record yourself or take a picture of you doing it. And hopefully I'll make more videos as we continue to do these science demos um, at home. So I'll see you all later. Bye.